It's as the old saying goes, at two he's a 10, but at 10 he's a two. But could it be that at two he's a two and you're drunk so you don't give a shit? <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Lacey Green and this is DNews. Many folks have found themselves in the situation where they get a little shwasty and the next morning they wake up next to someone that they might not have slept with otherwise. Hence the term beer goggles came about to describe the phenomenon of having found a hookup more attractive back when you were drunk. And because scientists asked questions about stuff, they were like, okay, why does this happen? Are people really more attractive when we're drunk? One survey done a few years ago at Roehampton University argued yes. The researchers went to bars, cause you know, that's how scientists roll, and did a breathalyzer test on 60 people before providing providing them with 20 sample faces. They found that the sober people were more likely to pick out symmetrical faces, while their intoxicated friends were less discriminating, thus lending itself to the idea that, hey, beer goggles are actually a thing. The problem is, the survey conflates symmetrical faces and attractiveness as one in the same. What about nice lips, square jaws, glowy skin, pheromones in the air, all of that crap? Most of the research out there on this topic agrees that symmetry is certainly a factor in attraction, but it's not the only factor. So now a newer study is out, this time from Durham University, and they're saying, go home, Roehampton University, you are drunk. Beer goggles aren't a thing. See, normally the upper lobes of the brain keep the more primitive areas that control sex drive in check. But what we're witnessing with this beer goggles business is alcohol bonding to those receptors in the upper lobes of the brain, thereby tampering with your decision making. While we're sober, there's more to weigh in sexual decision making, and that doesn't quite happen the same when we're alcohol impaired. I mean, we all know that alcohol encourages people to do stupid, very stupid, irrational things without caring, and they argue that beer goggles are no exception. The lead researcher on the study said that, quote, we still see others basically as they are. There's no imagined physical transformation, just more desire. Alcohol switches off the rational and decision-making areas of the brain while leaving the areas to do with sexual desire relatively intact, unquote. So there you go. Myth busted, at least for now, until the next round of research weighs in, because, you know, beer goggle research is very important for the advancement of society. Stuff. Have a happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. We'll see you again soon for more D News updates.